In this bag, I have apples and oranges. But I don't know how many of each they are. But what I do know is, each apple costs 2 ringgit and each orange costs 1 ringgit 50 cents. And in total, this bag of fruits costs 40 ringgit. The easiest way to find out how many apples and oranges they are is just to count them. But that's not cool. You won't get to impress anyone. I'll show you using maths. Welcome to the world of simultaneous equations. These equations are widely used to solve problems with two or more unknowns. Now let's say we have x number of oranges and y number of apples. It can then be represented as x times 150 plus y times 2 equals 40. Now notice that we have two unknowns in one equation. Therefore, we are unable to conclude either the value of x or y. To solve equations with two unknowns, we will need another equation with the same unknowns. What if I say that the number of oranges is double the number of apples? Then, we will have another equation of x equals 2y. Now I have two equations with two unknowns, and this will allow me to solve the value of x and y. Since x equals to 2y, I shall substitute x as 2y into the other equation. And now, I have only one equation with one unknown, and that is y. Following the working, we are able to solve the equation where y is 8. Since x equals 2y, therefore, x is 16. So, we have 16 oranges and 8 apples. Let's look at this exam question. Solve the following simultaneous equations, giving your answers in two decimal places. Before you substitute, notice from equation 1, we can express 2x as negative 3y minus 1. In equation 2, there is only one term with the variable x in it, which is 4xy. And 4xy can be written as 2x times 2y. So that means we can substitute 2x equals to negative 3y minus 1 into equation 2. Now, equation 2 is only in terms of y, so we will proceed to solve for the value of y. Expanding the brackets and simplifying the equation, we will come to a quadratic form and using the formula in search of root, we get one possibility of y as negative 1.22 and another as y equals to 0 0.82. And calculating the corresponding x, we get x equals to 1.33 and negative 1.73. Now, what if I were to use another approach? For example, from equation 1, I'll make y the subject and I'll substitute into the equation 2. Let's see what happens. From equation 1, we have y equals to negative 2x minus 1 over 3. Let's substitute it into the second equation. So let's expand all that we need and now let's simplify. So we arrive at a quadratic form again. So solving this, using the formula to find root, we find the same answers equivalent to the previous working. Now both workings are acceptable, but the second working seems to be longer than the first. If you could save some time, why not? So before substituting, please check if you can avoid working with fractions. I am Noel Chia and I'll see you in the next episode of SPM Top Tutor Additional Mathematics. <laughs>